Hey guys and welcome back to another makeup tutorial from my fruit salad series. So to begin off my eye look I'm doing my usual priming the eyes. I'm just going in with my Born This Way concealer in the shade Cream Puff and applying that all over the lid and around my brow. I am also going to quickly just fill in my brows. If you guys want to like an updated brow routine let your girl know but otherwise I'm just going to quickly whiz on to the eyeshadows. So, first things first, I'm going to use a transition shade. I'm taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and just using this soft brown shadow from the palette, I'm going in on a fluffy crease brush and applying that generously through the crease to act as our transition shade today. Next, on a e-show blending brush, I'm going to take Butter and Pooter, I believe, and applying those through the crease generously as well to build up the brown tones and just create a bit more depth. Then taking these next two brown shades, I'm going to go back through the crease and just deepen it up a little bit more, um, creating a little bit more depth and dimension to the eyes. I'm using a petite crease brush from Zoeva. And I do like to go back and forth between the previous brown tones as well to just help the blending process. It just softens any harsh lines or edges. It helps everything melt together nice and smoothly. I do flick it out on the outer corner as well because we are creating a full cut crease today. So bring the eyeshadows all the way out towards the tail of the brow. Next I'm taking Soda Pop and Central Park on a pencil brush. This is just from Gloss and I'm applying this through the crease a little bit lower than the previous brown tones. Just deepening up the cut crease eye kind of shape and creating a little bit more dimension like we have been doing with the previous browns. And again, I like to go back and forth between the previous brown tones to soften any harsh lines or edges. Just help everything blend nice and smoothly. To cut my crease, I'm taking my Born This Way concealer on a little lip brush. I don't quite remember what brand this is from, but it's just your typical lip brush. I'm going in and carving out the crease, um, kind of cheating my crease shape a little bit. I'm bringing it higher than I naturally would if I was doing like a more softer cut crease. I'm kind of making my eyelid space a little bit bigger than what it naturally is. And I go and flick out the outer edge of the eye towards the tail of the brow. So it kind of does a little wave shape along the eye, as you guys can see. And I fill in the whole lid space so there's a nice blank canvas to start off with the next eyeshadows with. So I'm going to take Sydney and Exy from the Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics eyeshadow palette called Malibu. And I'm applying that on with a precise shader brush from Zoeva. And first of all, kind of creating the very sharp cut crease lines. So I want to bring that shadow very delicately around the edges. Don't want to bring it on any of the brown. Keeping it very precise along the edge of the cut crease. Then I go in and fill in the whole lid space all the way up to the tail of the kind of cut crease where my brow is. And I also like to go in with my finger to really build up that shadow and that pigment. Just make it nice and opaque. Then I'm going to go in with some liquid eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going in and creating just a typical wing, but I'm extending it out pretty far towards the kind of cut crease uh, flick that we've created. Once you've done that, I'm going to take some electric yellow eyeliner from, I think it's called Fair Slayer. I'll leave it linked down below. Uh, Fair Slayer's Cosmetics, I think that's what it's called, the brand. Can't quite remember, but I, like I said, I will leave it linked down below for you. I'm going in and applying this electric yellow eyeliner along the cut crease with a little eyeliner brush from Eeg Show. Take your time with this step. I use little tiny strokes just along the cut crease so I don't mess it up and it's not too thick in some places and thin in others. And I also bring it along the top of the winged liner that we created before as well. With this uh, eyeliner, I do have to kind of wet it before you use it. So I kind of sprayed it with some setting spray um, just to kind of make it a little bit more wet. And then I went in and applied it to the eyes. For my brow bone highlight, I went in with and light from the Jaclyn Hill palette and applied that to the highest point of the brow. To give the eyes a bit of a glossy shape, a bit of a glossy kind of lemon look, I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan Diamond Eye Gloss and applying that just over the yellow eyeshadow. It can make the eyeliners smudge a bit, so I was very delicate not to apply any near the eyeliners, just over the eyeshadow uh, part of the eye. Next for the fun bit, I've actually got these little kind of 
fruit pieces from Etsy. I will leave them linked down below for you. I love this. It just adds a bit more fun to the look, I guess. And I just applied three little lemon slices along the top of the cut crease, evenly spaced out. Then I go in with a couple of Diamantes. These are just from Spotlight. These were silver ones, but I wanted kind of goldy yellow ones. So I do go over the top with a liquid eyeshadow from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics in the shade Debs. And just make those Diamantes sparkle gold, not silver. <laughs> For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Debs again and just place that on the very inner corner. And then over top to set that liquid eyeshadow, I'm going in with this very beautiful kind of yellow gold from the Chi Chi Pride palette. So next, moving on with lashes, I went in with the Pleasantly Plump 2 lashes from Hanny's Beauty Box Cosmetics. I really love how they create that kind of feline eye shape, the longer on the outer corner, shorter on the inner corner. Then I'm taking Electric again and I'm placing that eyeliner along my waterline. I just love how it made the eyes really pop and really tied the whole look together. Then to fill in the bottom lash line and give a bit more dimension to that area, I'm going in again with the two deepest browns from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on a precise shader brush from Morphe, I think it is. And just wiggling that nice and tight against my lower lash line. To blend it out, I'm taking some of Butter and Puta again on a pencil brush and just smoking out the edges so there's no harsh lines. And to further smoke out the bottom lash line, I'm going in with the lightest brown from the Jaclyn Hill palette on the blending brush from Eek Show and just softening up those deeper browns. It's just making it nice and soft and smoky. For bottom lash mascara today, I'm going in with the Raw Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara with Coconut Oil and applying that to my bottom lashes today. Then I'm going to go in with those Diamantes from Spotlight again and place three along the bottom lash line, evenly spaced apart. And then going in with Debs again, which is that liquid eyeshadow and just making those Diamantes sparkle gold. <laughs> and that completes today's Lemon Meringue. I'm thinking of Lemonade maybe. What do you guys think I should name this look? Lemonade or Lemon Meringue? I think Lemon Meringue because it makes me like really hungry. It sounds delicious. <laughs> so I'm thinking I might go Lemon Meringue. But yeah, leave a name down below because I will do another lemon look. So if you guys have any requests for names, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you guys very soon. <laughs> Bye guys.